was very courteous. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is my first video on this shared channel with my really good friend Charlie. If you haven't seen Charlie's first video, you should go check it out. This video is going to be about me very last minute making the red dress from the movie Pearl. I had not been able to figure out what I wanted to do for Halloween and we went and saw Pearl Halfway through the movie, I, I turned to my friend and I went, that's, I'm going as Pearl for Halloween. Now, of course, I spent like a month telling people I would make it. And then I ended up having a lot of trouble actually making it. So first of all, I kind of wanted to show you, this is the dress that um, I was planning on making. Notice there's a lot of lace details on this dress. Those did not end up making it onto the final version because I procrastinated too much, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So let me take you on this journey. The first thing I did was I measured out 12 inches on my selvage and I just tore a long strip for my ruffle and then what I thought was gonna be my waistband and like the ties that go at the waistband. However, it ended up being the perfect amount for like a really nice ruffle. So I ended up having to cut out later another piece for the waistband and the ties, which was fine. The reason I did that first was because I was most excited about the ruffle and I knew that I was gonna need a really long strip of fabric. So I might as well just get that out of the way before I was cutting into the fabric at all. I also got 10 yards of fabric, which is so much fabric. I still have this fabric left over. Then I cut out the skirt panels. Now I was kind of guessing I have not done clothes in a while and it did not turn out great. So the end of this first week, I had my ruffle cut out and I had skirt panels cut out and loosely pinned together. And I had my bodice slightly cut out, but it wasn't working. And then I procrastinated for two and a half weeks. <laughs> At that point, I sat down, I would think it was a Sunday and I, well, we can cut to some of the footage here. Hello. So I've been having trouble with this dress because apparently all my uh, dressmaking knowledge has fled my brain in the past year that I haven't been sewing uh, dresses specifically. Um, I've been doing lots of other little bits, but not clothes. Um, I've gone back and forth whether I should line this or not. And you know what? I'm going to say, fuck it. We're not going to line it. We're just going to go. So maybe I'll make matching red bloomers that will go underneath and act like a petticoat. I've spent this entire month procrastinating. So um, we just need to start sewing because it is the 22nd of October. I need to be able to wear this in six days. So today is really my day. Today is my day. That's the goal today. Sew something. I had less than a week to work on this dress and finish it. I was working full time at this point. I had other social obligations that I was going to. I had very little time to create this. I didn't really want to be staying up late every single night when I also had to work and when I was trying to go do social things for Halloween. Um, so this Sunday was really a big day <laughs> to get some stuff done. The first thing that I did was I recut the skirt panels um, and I shaped them a little bit so that they would actually flare out a little more um, because they were too long and not flared enough if with my original cut. Then I took a look and kind of reshaped the bodice. It was mostly just making it fit me a little bit better. I hadn't really shaped the neckline or the armholes. For the sleeves, I knew that I wanted this really big puffy sleeve because I just love the way it looked um, in the movie. The first thing that I did for the sleeves was cut out a paper pattern and just kind of check roughly that it fit my arm. Um, I didn't do this too well. You'll be able to see that the sleeve itself was actually quite tight. Now I could have recut the sleeves, but at this point I was really, really last minute. I was running out of time. I ended up adding a strip of like five inches of fabric that ran from the hem of my sleeve all the way up into my armpit just to give it a little extra space so I could move my arms because it was just a little too tight. And I had to do some futzing to get the arms 
the sleeve set in, but I think they turned out really great. The ruffle did end up being one of the last things that I did. Now, the ruffle was very time consuming. I was worried that my thread would break, so I took some extra strong thread and I hand sewed the gathering lines um, and then I hand gathered them and I had sectioned them out with pins so I kind of knew equal amounts and I did that same thing to the skirt and then I matched up and then I was futzing with the ruffles so it looked nice and it looks beautiful may I say however the skirt was still too long the skirt this the skirt is still too long so I had to mess with it so that I could wear it around um, and not trip on my ass in this dress I do need to fix one spot where I took it up a little too much but for the most part it works it looks great trust the process of course this had to have pockets I intentionally didn't sew all the way up the side seams of the skirt so I had to put in pockets because I knew that if I miss this step I just wouldn't wear it as much I knew the pockets were necessary and so I followed Bernadette Banner's lovely video on how to make pockets and I think I did them better this time than the last time I did them. I kind of wish I had moved the pockets down a bit. I forgot that to measure like where they're sitting on my hips. So they're a little high up. And especially because the skirt is very fitted and it's a really nice silhouette. But it means that if you actually put anything in those pockets that's bulky and like tall like my phone, you can see it in the outline. So that might be something I fix at some point. We'll see. I'm either going to move the pockets down, which is probably a smart idea or I'm going to make the pockets longer, which is the lazy idea. We'll see. I ended up doing a full button closure in the back. I just didn't really think about how like the dress and the bodice would open and I didn't line up that. And so I wanted to make the waistband adjustable because I have been changing sizes more than I used to. So I put the waistband, the back of the waistband on a tie so I can cinch it and it's adjustable. But that means that's not attached to my bodice and the skirt's very heavy so it drags down. So what I ended up doing was I put buttonholes, three buttonholes, uh, at the bottom of the bodice and then I put buttons on the waistband and then I just pop those up. And it's not super elegant but you can't see it once the bow is tied in the back and it functions really well. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. On to the reveal. I am really happy with how this turned out. I've never been more recognized in a Halloween costume than in this pearl costume. I was surprised. I saw other pearls out. I don't know if I'm going to add lace or ribbon to this. The original dress has a lot of it and that was one of my favorite parts, but I actually really like how simple this is and I don't really want to sew over at least the bodice. I think it's very likely that I will add some trimmings at the bottom where the ruffle is and maybe around the sleeves because the one thing I did not finish is the cuffs of the sleeves are not hemmed. <laughs> Going into this I wanted to make a dress that would last and that I would get a lot of wear out of outside of this Halloween costume specifically and I think I've succeeded in that. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more projects from either me or Charlie. I would love to hear if you've seen the movie, what you thought of my costume. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!